Where's Harvey Barnes? We're on the hunt for Harvey Barnes. Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV and welcome to St James's Park. We are here to try and catch a glimpse of Harvey Barnes. It came out uh, a few minutes ago, 20, 30 minutes ago actually, uh, you know, he was spotted inside St James's Park. Obviously getting shown around the place, doing his little promo shoots, getting his photo with the new shirt and whatnot, uh, interview with the club and stuff like that, and then he will be heading to the Benton training ground base to complete the second part of his medical. He was here yesterday completing his medical on Tyneside. He stayed the night and then this morning he's been around St. James's Park and then he'll be finalising things this afternoon. If everything goes well, could be announced tonight, probably tomorrow now, alongside the new Newcastle United third kit as well. That's going to come out tomorrow morning at 9am, the club release that. So will he be maybe showing that off? You know, that'd be a good selling point. They'll be daft if they don't do that, to be honest with you. That marketing tip off the top of my head there. Makes sense. Get him showing the new kit. Maybe his number on the back, that's still waiting to be seen, you know, it's an Ollie's number and everything else still needs confirmed. So what I thought I'd do once I came out of Harvey Barnes was here is have a quick drive down, see if we can catch him. I've spoken to the odd fan as well about There's a couple of people here, not many. And then uh, hopefully we can catch a bit of Harvey Barnes. It doesn't look like he's going to come out with that entrance because there is work going on on that one. There's people waiting out to the player's entrance and I've, I've been up the gate as well at the top. Uh, I have just been speaking to someone that works at the club and they said he is still inside the building. But uh, I'm not waiting around all day. I'm not one of these who will stand here for five, six, seven hours. No, anyway, I've got better things to be doing in my time. I've actually got a really busy afternoon, which you will see later on. So, training ground later, but there's, there's other stuff coming with, with other things. You know what I'm like. Busy, busy work and stuff. So, I, I'll, I'll stick around for about half an hour, an hour, see if we can get a glimpse of him. If not, I need to get home, get changed, and then I've got some work with someone else later on. So, stay tuned for that one. There's obviously more kids coming now, gathering. He's having a good wave in the background. People are getting excited. It's this time again, you know what I mean? Years have gone by where nothing happened at St. James's Park. Nobody turned up for any signings because there wasn't any. Or there wasn't any of what anyone of real note. The sun's coming out now. I'll tell you what, I may stick around a bit longer. Actually, this looks like it may be a bloody school trip or something. But uh, <laughs> are the schools on at the moment? Don't know. But uh, yeah, so more people are gathering at St. James's Park to try and catch a glimpse of the new signing for Newcastle United. 38 million pound man, Harvey Barnes, heading to Newcastle so let's have a little walk up and down let's see if we can get a, a little look at Newcastle his new winger as he's inside getting things finalised and if he's moved to the two any sign of him? Bonds eight. no sign of Harvey Bond yet in here anyway for now don't know why I'm saying yet he was in here half an hour ago is he still looming about is he still getting pictures or has he took off we had to find out. More work being done inside the club there. Out with the old and with the new. Maxi's in the skip, Bond's in the stadium. Oh, well, there's a few people knocking about here. They're waiting for Harvey Bonds, appreciating the statues. Probably a bit of both, really. Uh, this is what I'll cite now around Newcastle, United, around St. James Park. And there's a new sign, and there used to be never anyone here. Now the building. Not sure if he's gonna come through there, like, because there's people working in there. So we're gonna head back up here. See if we can get an eye on him. He has another one at St. James Park waiting for the arrival of Harvey Barnes. What do you think they're signing them, mate? I think it's uh, a good signing. I think you'll you'll do more than Maxi goes and assists, but uh, I don't want to let Maxi go because on his day he's a different breed. But he'll do good, and I think as long as we get top four in a good cup, and I think uh, it'll be a good signing. So you'd rather um, Maxi Steele than have bringing Harvey Barnes? Or? Um, I'd like to keep them both. I think it's a good sign then if we can get them both playing like good for rotation and that as well. But I hope he brings uh, some goals and assists and that and then hopefully some trophies as well. Hopefully mate, right nice one, cheers. Uh, also, a few people waiting outside the steps here, yeah, the players entrance. Hoping to get a glimpse of Harvey Barnes. I have just been told that he is still in the building. Let's wait and see. Harvey Barnes, anyone? Harvey Barnes, anyone? Barnes? Coming up the lift? Barnes? No. Nope. nope, not yet. There was a lot going on at St. James Park these days, so. Oh, Stadium Tours. Maybe the best asking one of them. I think it was like football. I don't think it was a school trip. I think it was like a football team trip um, for a Stadium Tour at St. James. Maybe just go by a, uh, buy a Stadium Tour pass. Jump in. <laughs> Ooh, oh, last season's turf in there. Might take some at home. Back in the garden. You know what I mean? Still no sign of him. 
I think there was an extension going on at St. James's Park already or something, the amount of workers was knocking about and uh, skips and construction that's been done, it's all gone on, like, all gone on. Just me, Harvey Bonds, yeah. Obviously, the main bit of work that is being done is on the Leeser stand. We know that the sports bar is, at the moment, completely changing. In the middle of the Leeser stand, the sports bar is going, and um, we've got the new hospitality bit getting put in there. So that work is underway. A lot going on here at St. James's Park, including signings. We're still waiting to see. We'll catch the main man that we're here for. Not here to see skips. We're here to see Harvey Barnes. But I haven't got the patience to stick around with Clunker. <laughs> Joined here by the Newcastle fan at St. James's Park, mate. What's your name? Uh, Jake. Jake, Jake from Leicester, did you say, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So originally from Leicester. Um, watched a bit of Leicester in the past. Um, but I've been a Newcastle fan all my life. Got family over here. Um, but yeah, I was just saying, like, I think it would be Harvey Barnes would be a quality signing for us. I think it's exactly what we need. Um, yeah, like I said, I've watched, watched a lot of Leicester. And he's just a complete outlay outlook for them you know just pace on the left I think obviously Maxi Maxi going is quite a big big hit so we need somebody to come in and fill those boots you know like for like and I think Harvey Barnes has got that in abundance to be honest so because the people you know some people are saying oh, it's a bit underwhelming yeah. I'm not really sure why we're spending nearly 40 million on them we shouldn't be letting Ansi Maxman go I think I think the price should be an issue to be honest I think we've got the money it's just obviously how I want him and like I say, I'm, I'm 100% sure he's going to be class for us. Good stuff, mate. Right, cheers for your time. No worries. Ooh, I think I'm going to call it a day, people. I've been here about half an hour. No sign of him. I'm hearing contrasting reports. There he is. Emily in his convertible look. <laughs> Not really. Um, but I, some people are saying, yeah, he's still in there. Some people are telling us that, you know, uh, the photo that you saw was from like half an hour this morning. He's left now because these shutters have went down the way up apparently um, so yeah I'm hearing different things I haven't really got the time all the patience to stick around here yeah, all day not my style and like I say I've got work to be doing this afternoon which you'll see later on I'm sure so anyways we spoke to a couple of fans that's how they feel I want to know how you feel in the comments below let us know what he's making Harvey Bond saying as he has been inside St James's part of day and he will be completing his medical this afternoon plenty more to come on that on the Mac My Channel TV throughout the day, so stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, we'll head off now and we'll hopefully have more on it later on today. Will it be announced tonight? Will it be announced tomorrow? Gotta to be done soon because Eddie Howe wants him on that plane to USA. So there we go, people. Live from St. James Park, signing out with plenty more videos to come throughout the day. Cheers for watching, everyone. Subscribe to Mac My Channel TV. See you on the next one.